My show begins in just one moment. Oh, it's big. It's really big, kids. Felix, we're going to start in just a second, and I've got some epic, honestly, the biggest political scandal in the history of the country is unfolding right before our eyes, and we begin in three, two, one. Okay, so for those of you who are watching, uh, not on Sunday morning, I'm recording this on Sunday morning. Hi, uh, welcome to the show. I I just want to get to it right away because what we are witnessing right now before our very eyes is the biggest political scandal in the history of the country. Uh, it involves not only government players, it, it involves uh, Chinese players, Ukrainian players, Russian players, the media. Uh, it is it is profound. What we are discovering in the next in the in uh, today is pardon the hair. We just I've still got a little hair hat. I went to the gym early this morning. What we are discovering today is that not only <clears throat> was there a massive pay-for-play uh, uh, scheme going on between the Bidens, um, also, I'll just say the Clintons, uh, Ukrainians, Chinese, um, Russians, giant pay-for-play while Joe Biden was the vice president, while his son uh, was involved in Ukraine, while he was on a board for a Ukrainian oil and gas company, while Hillary Clinton was the Secretary of State of the United States of America, uh, the country was for sale. The country was for sale. Access to the White House was for sale. Access to players in the Obama administration was for sale. And the biggest story of the day, we've heard about the Hunter Biden laptop. We know that it was uh, left at a computer store in, uh, in Delaware and that Hunter Biden presumably did not pick it up. We know that big media, Twitter, has um, censored the story, the New York Post story that broke the story. Rudolph Giuliani has possession of the laptop. But here's the big uh, story of the day. While the president of the United States was being impeached, while his family was going through hell, while the country was going through hell, while the Democrats lied through their effing teeth, the FBI had the damned laptop. The FBI had the laptop. They had Hunter Biden's laptop while Donald Trump was being impeached. They suppressed evidence. It doesn't get bigger than this. The story does not get bigger than this. 
that the FBI would sit on the laptop while the president of the United States is being impeached with the potential of him being removed from office. The FBI sat on evidence that would have cleared the president. I've been on the planet 54 years. I don't remember Watergate. I was too little. Watergate was nothing compared to this. Without making this into a campaign commercial for uh, for uh, Donald Trump, he has to be reelected. He has to be reelected. He has to be the the engine for change in Washington D.C. He has to be in the position of President of the United States to take down, if not the entire FBI. Certainly those at the top. If not the entire CIA, certainly those who were at the top during the, uh, the uh, uh, Obama administration and during the transition into the, uh, into the Trump administration. People who are still in the FBI need to be indicted. They need to go to trial and they need to go to jail. If I were a member of the Trump family, I would be righteously pissed today because they have been through hell. The country has been through hell. People like Rachel Maddow and MSNBC and CNN and the New York Times, the New York Times reporters got Pulitzers for a story that never existed. There was never any Russian collusion. They need to have their rewards turned back in. And now we know that the FBI and the CIA played along. Now we know that the FBI had evidence to clear the president, had it sat on it during his impeachment trial, which could have destroyed his presidency, divided the country. I just, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. You've got so many levels of absolute corruption here. You've got the Bidens, you've got Hunter Biden, his involvement with uh, with the Ukraine, which is, is pales by comparison to his relationship with China. I mean, billions of dollars, millions of dollars for Mr. Big. Uh, Joe Biden is Mr. Big, apparently. That's how they refer to Joe Biden, Mr. Big. Mr. Big gets 10%. Sounds very mafioso, doesn't it? Cheers, a little coffee. John, Gr- John Grisham could have never... Could have never imagined a story like this. I I don't even know where to start. And then then on top of the the corruption of the Bidens, the corruption of the Clintons, the Clinton Foundation, Uranium One, the fact that the Clinton Foundation completely folded after after Hillary Clinton lost the election. Where did the money go? Where did the money come from? It came from Russia. Where did the money go? Where did all the good the foundation was doing? Why did that have to go up in flames? Why did their foundation have to go up in flames when Hillary Clinton was not elected? Why is that? Because the money stopped. The money dried up. She's not an influence peddler anymore. She's not in the White House. But Ukrainians and Chinese, they had access to the White House like you wouldn't believe. They got invited to the White House. There were major players in Chinese uh, government and Chinese uh, companies in the White House during the Obama administration, and they paid Hunter Biden ten million dollars a year for meeting people, for introducing people. Hunter Biden got on a board of a, a corrupt Ukrainian company for about eighty five thousand dollars a month. When the Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainians, uh, Ukraine's top prosecutor went after the company, Joe Biden said that we would take away $1 billion in loan guarantees to the very poor country of Ukraine unless that prosecutor was fired. He said it. He said it on tape. Six hours later, son of a bitch, he was fired and the investigation stopped. My God. My God in heaven. Can you believe it? You had that, 
And now we find out that Twitter and Facebook and YouTube have been electioneering. We knew this all along. I mean, I knew this. I, I get shadow banned all the time. I put credible news articles. I'm not Alex Jones. I put credible news articles, and they are declared false. And they are taken down on my Facebook, on my YouTube. I've had entire videos uh, censored because of, of content, because I didn't tow the WHO line with regard to coronavirus or when I tried to say something about the Bidens. This is... This is gigantic. William Randolph Hearst and Joseph Pulitzer had a monopoly on the media back in the 1920s, the, around the, the turn of the century, last century. <clears throat> they had a massive media that was very... Uh, 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 two massive newspapers which were uh, just gigantic. They were, they were the only game in town in the country, and they, uh, they uh, lied. They, they did what was called yellow journalism. That's what they became famous for. And, uh, and Citizen Kane is a movie about uh, uh, William Randolph Hearst, essentially, attempting to uh, upset an election, and he didn't. He didn't. He had all the money in the world. He had all the press in the world. He could say all anything he wanted about his campaign. He could do whatever, and he ultimately was defeated. His own corruption, his own unlikability, among other things, and we are witnessing it. Ron says the entire Obama administration needs to go to jail. Guys, People need to go to jail, and this is it. This is, this is the swamp, guys. I lived in Washington, D.C. for about 10 years. I loved it there. I'd, I'd love to move back. But I, and I wasn't even involved with politics, but I, I mean, I saw the swamp. I remember I, it was my 40th birthday, and I was in Ruth's Chris Steakhouse above um, Ronald Reagan International Airport in, uh, in, in Crystal City. And I remember as the, uh, suddenly the, the hush came over the crowd and I looked up and it was uh, Senator Tom Daschle, then time Senator Tom Daschle, uh, walking into the, uh, the steakhouse and, uh, and oh, he had an entourage around him and, uh, and he, uh, you know, he uh, uh, was surrounded by, you know, uh, sycophants and security. And, and I went, Why? You're, 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 you're the representative. You're not, I mean, you're a senator. You, you represent people of a state. You're not a rock star. You're not, there's nothing special about you. Why, why, do you, why do you get a book deal? Why do, you, why do you, when you get out of office, get a full pension? Why, when you get out of office, do you get to stay in Washington, D.C. and become a very rich lobbyist being paid tens of thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars for speeches? This is the swamp, baby. Washington, D.C. was built on a swamp, and it is a swamp. And uh, I almost said Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Donald Trump needs to remain the president of the United States. <clears throat> Not only are we seeing uh, large social media, big social media, attempting to electioneer, to throw an election, to uh, libel a publication in the New York Post by labeling their uh, content as uh, false, false, um, You've also got the networks doing town halls with packed audiences in favor of a Democrat and against a Republican. We have the third a debate coming up. It is being hosted by a woman who spent Christmas in the White House. The family is huge. They're huge Democrat donors. She has registered to vote as a Democrat at least twice. She has stood before the president in, uh, in very, very slanted uh, news conferences and asked questions. All of the cards are aligned against Donald Trump. And you know what? He's kicking their ass. You've seen this president in the last few days. I've seen him in the last few days. And I've said, what? But the last few weeks, he, he is on his game. He is, he is confident. He is brilliant at his speeches. Uh, he's hilarious. He's entertaining. And he's... And he's telling the truth, and he's given the media what for. And I don't know where he gets that. I don't know. And if I had a chance to ask him, the one question that I, and I will ask him as a national media figure, because big things are coming. I'll say, well, how do you do it? What, what, what is it? What, how, how, 
do you find the strength every day? Considering what you've been through in your first four years, how do you get out of bed with a smile on your face? Is it spiritual? Is it something that you have inside of you, you were born with? Is it the thoughts and prayers of millions of people bullying you every day? What? I want to know how you do it. I want to know how you can weather this and come out swinging every damn time. <laughs> Just every time. Wow. When Donald Trump ran for office, he was not my number one choice. I can't imagine, and I can honestly say, he is the best president I think the country has ever had. Bill Maher and a-holes like uh, The View hosts and uh, Rachel Madcow, they'll scoff at that, they'll laugh at that, they'll laugh at it when, like when, uh, when Ann Coulter said that uh, Donald Trump was going to be the president on Bill Maher's show five years ago. They laughed, they, they laughed. I think he's the best president in the history of the country. I really do. And we as, uh, if you're conservative, you know that Ronald Reagan was the bellwether. Ronald Reagan was the, the bellwether, man. And he was brilliant. And he ushered in what became the fall of the Soviet Union and East Germany. And he was brilliant. He was brilliant and he was strong. Donald Trump in the first four years of administration did more than Reagan ever dreamed of. Donald Trump did more in the first two years than Ronald Reagan ever dreamed of. Donald Trump has done more with regard to the strength of the American economy, which the Democrats have pinned the virus on him. A, a vi Listen, 2020 happened because it's 2020, okay? The reason why you have to wear a mask the reason why uh, cities were on fire until it started uh, polling negatively against the Democrats and then the word went out, it suddenly got real quiet except for in Portland and Seattle. You know, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy how that happened? How does that happen? How does that happen? Who is paying for that? All of that happened because it's 2020. The reason why you have to wear an effing mask is because it's 2020. A mask doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do any good. That got me booted from YouTube. That got one of my videos taken down on YouTube. Saying that. Master bullshit. They are. It all happened because it's 2020. The hell that you've been through, the hell that American business owners have been through, it was all because it's 2020. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's an election year. 2020, COVID is not deadlier than the flu. That'll probably get this video shut down. It's not, it's not. Unbelievable. Let's, uh, let's play a little bit of the president at uh, Ocala, Florida, a couple days ago. Can you believe how many people look behind the fake news? Can you believe? <laughs> Come on, Can baby. Can you believe how many people are back there? God bless you, man. I wish they'd turn their cameras. You want to turn the cameras around, show? That is a lot of people here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, they never report that. They won't report it. No. There are thousands of people behind these people. What do you give them the good location for? Yep. Got to talk to our people about that. There's the press. <laughs> Why are we giving the media the good location? Anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you to Florida. We love Florida. And it's great to be back in this magnificent state. You know, I live here too. You know that, right? <laughs> With thousands of loyal, hardworking, great American patriots. So, 18 days. Can you believe it? Come on, baby. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them, Mr. President. Think about this. Now, I've, I've done a little bit of stand-up comedy. I've never done it for a living. I've known stand-up comics, and, and to do two shows a night, it's going to be pretty rough. 
two shows a night after opener, and then you go on stage, and then you, you're wrapping things up at midnight or a little bit after. Donald Trump does two shows a day, and he flies several hours in between them. He gets up early in the morning. He gets briefed uh, with what's going on in the world. He uh, he talks to who he needs to talk to. He uh, he has a, a full slate of events, and then he goes to a then he goes to a massive rally, and he's on his game for an hour plus, hour and a half. Then he breaks, he gets on a plane, he flies a couple hours, and he goes to another one, and it's all over again. Can you imagine that as a as a 40-year-old, a 30-year-old, yet, let alone a, a 74-year-old man? Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just, I mean, unbelievable. He's a force for good. Has he done some bad things in his life? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a womanizer. Not a drinker. Not a tax cheat. He's a good man. There's, there's a good person in there. There's a good and patriotic person in there, whether you like it or not. Right now, at the at the heart of the Democrat Party is absolute blackness and, and evil. And I, I really mean that. I really mean that. I don't like saying that about anyone. But the Democrat Party, considering what it's put the United States through in the last four years, considering what it stands for, they're an evil party. Another reason why this president has to be, be president for another four years is because the Democrat Party either needs to be introspective or implode. It needs to be introspective, reinvented, or it needs to implode. I think it needs to be blown up. I think the, the Democrat Party needs to be uh, reinvented because, honestly, I don't think there's any saving it right now considering what they've sold us down the river for. Unbelievable. The party of death, its history and slavery in the KKK and in Jim Crow and in racial division and in violence. Now invested in hatred of the country and its founding. There's no saving it. There's no saving the Democrat Party. It's it doesn't stand for anything but its own survival in Washington, D.C. It doesn't stand for anything good. The Democrat Party stands for nothing good. It doesn't, guys. It doesn't. Where do we start here? I've got a bunch of stuff here. Here's, a, here's the, um, uh, the, the next host, Kristen Welker, is going to be talking to the president, going to be uh, doing the town hall with uh, Joe Biden coming up uh, 9 o'clock on Thursday at Belmont University if Joe Biden makes it. And I mean that because you look at all that's hitting the fan right now with the, with the Biden campaign, the Bidens, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, Mr. Big. You got to kind of wonder if he's going to face that kind of scrutiny in front of an audience. Now, we had two town halls this week, uh, one with uh, Joe, Joe Biden, one with, uh, with Donald Trump. Donald Trump was uh, assaulted during his. He was interrupted, and he, he fought. He fought back. Joe Biden was given a tongue bath by George Stephanopoulos, and the biggest political scandal in our nation's history was unfolding, and it involved Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, and George Stephanopoulos conveniently did not mention it. Big media needs to be blown up, too. Big media needs to be introspective or implode. Big social media needs to be introspective or implode or deregulated and taken down. I believe that's what's going to have to happen. It's going to be have to, they're going to have to be taken down because they are they are uh, attempting to guide an election which is illegal. They are attempting to suppress thought and ideas of a, a certain political ilk. The government has to get rid of the protections that they've enjoyed, and ultimately they need to be busted up. 61% of all advertising online revenue in the entire world goes to Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube, and to some degree, Instagram as well. Instagram is really not political. It's just women who like to show side boobs uh, standing in front of a mirror, pretty much. Then there's TikTok, and honestly, yeah, who cares? Kristen Welker is a tool. Uh, Samantha Guthrie, tool. George Stephanopoulos, tool. Welker's parents, proud uh, supporters of the Biden-Harris campaign, have donated tens of thousands of dollars to the leftist fundraising organization, Act Blue. 
and Democrat politicians over the years, including $20,000 to Barack Obama, $3,000 to the Biden for President campaign. She has registered as a Democrat twice. She has uh, deep ties to the Democrat Party, dating uh, back years. She registered as a Democrat in Washington, D.C. in 2012, Rhode Island, 2004. This according to the New York Post. Here she is confronting the president and uh, uh, blaming him for COVID. Dr. Fauci said earlier this week that the lag in testing was, in fact, a failing. Do you take responsibility for that? And when can you guarantee that every single American who needs a test... Will yeah, the president... The president is responsible for a supposed lag in testing, and there isn't one. He'll be able to have a test. What's the date of that? Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a... I love that he said that. Uh, a uh, set of circumstances, and we were given rules, regulations, and specifications from a different time. Uh, was it meant for this kind of... Uh, an event. Haven't seen Deborah Burks lately, have you? Well, I wonder what happened to her. Uh, with the seen Fauci. Fauci doesn't want you to have Thanksgiving. And the numbers that we're talking about. And what we've done is redesigned it very quickly with the help of the people behind me. And we're now in very, very strong shape. I think we'll be announcing, as I said, Sunday night. And uh, this will start very quickly. And we will have, we'll have the ability to do uh, in the millions uh, over a very, very quick period of time. And by the way, they already are packaging the vaccine. The, the vaccine is done, all right? It's just a matter of uh, distributing. It's probably not going to happen until after the election. But the vaccine is done. It's coming to a, a doctor's office near you, maybe a Walgreens or a CVS. It's done. Record time. Record time. The United States, a businessman in the White House who understands business and understands regulation and how it kills, literally, He's done a kick-ass job, unlike the uh, governors of uh, Michigan and New York, where hundreds, tens of tens of thousands of people died because people were put in nursing homes who had COVID. And the most vulnerable people in the world who live there died because of it. What well, we've been through this year, dear God in heaven. <laughs> what we've been through this year. He is unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is pretty interesting. Okay, so let's talk a little, let's get into this, this uh, Hunter Biden thing. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to do, do, to digest it all and get it all to you right now because I'm gonna you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna make this five hours long. <laughs> and I don't think you want to either. But I'm gonna get to that in just one second. I do want to mention something real quick because I got a little contest going here. Okay. You see this company right here? This is Hassle Cattle Company, um, and if you go to HassleCattleCompany.com, just go there and do a little fantasizing because they do Wagyu beef, Texas Wagyu beef. It is, uh, it is uh, uh, basically uh, Kobe beef cattle bred with Angus, and it is the best damn steak. Oh, dear God in heaven. Steak and hamburgers and sausage and beef jerky and hot dogs and oh, my God, and ribs. I'm going to give away. I'm going to fill someone's freezer with meat. I'm going to fill one of your freezers with me. But what I need you to do is I need you to go to either rumble.com to my channel, Rob Carson Show, or YouTube. Rumble or YouTube, and you need to subscribe to my channels. Rumble.com, Rob Carson Show, or YouTube, Rob Carson Show, because I'm going to choose at the end of this month somebody, and I'm going to stuff their freezer with Wagyu beef. Holy hell. Holy hell. This package worth hundreds of dollars. And you are going to have the most beautiful, incredible beef for the entire holiday season, well into the spring. All right, but you got to you got to register. You got to you got to uh, you got to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Rob Carson Show or Rumble.com. Rumble.com. Rob Carson Show. Do it. Do it today, Greg. Do it, Pat. Come on, people. Do it, Felix. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So the never before revealed meeting between uh, Vice President Joe Biden and a top energy uh, Ukrainian energy firm uh, less than a year before um, Joe Biden pressured the Ukrainian government into firing a prosecutor investigating company. There was this meeting, and it did happen between Vadim Pozarsky, uh, an advisor to the board of Burisma, allegedly sent Hunter Biden on April 17, 2005, about a year after Hunter joined the Burisma board, at a salary of up to $85,000 a year, he said, Dear Hunter, thank you for inviting me to D.C. and giving me an opportunity to meet your father and spend some time together. It's really an honor and pleasure. 
This is in the Hunter Biden laptop, the hard drive, which the FBI had while Donald Trump was being impeached. An early email from May 2014 shows that Pazarsky, reportedly Burisma's number three executive, asked Hunter for advice on how you could use your influence to on the company's behalf. The computer was dropped off at a repair shop in Biden's home state of Delaware, according to the store's owner. A massive treasure trove of material. Other material extracted from the computer include is a 12-minute raunchy sex video. Uh, and Hunter Biden, I mean, man, you can smoke crack and uh, and have sex at the same time. That's pretty impressive. As well as numerous other sexually explicit images. This is a sick man. He's a sick man. Customer brought in the water-damaged MacBook Pro for repair, never paid for the service or retrieved it or the hard drive on its contents, restored according to the shop owner. Tried to repeat uh, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, contact the client, but probably was too stoned out of his mind to do anything about it. The laptop uh, bore a sticker from the Bo Biden Foundation, named after uh, Hunter Biden's late brother. Photos of Delaware uh, federal subpoena given to the Post show that the computer and hard drive were seized by the FBI in December. After the shows, uh, the shop's owner says he alerted the feds to their existence, and the FBI had the damned computer while Donald Trump was being impeached. Before turning over the gear, the shop owner says he made a copy of the hard drive, later gave it to uh, Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Steve Bannon, former advisor to President Trump, told The Post about the existence of the hard drive last September. Giuliani provided The Post with a copy of it on Sunday, less than eight months after Pajarski thanks Hunter Biden for the introduction to his dad. The then vice president admittedly pressured Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and Prime Minister Aznilia blah, 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 into get rid of, getting rid of Prosecutor Victor Shokin by threatening to withhold $1 billion loan guarantee during a 2015 trip to, Co- to Kiev. Shokin has said that at the time of his firing in March 2016, he made specific plans to investigate Burisma. That included interrogations and other crime investigation procedures into all members of the executive board, including Hunter Biden. (laughs) God. Meanwhile, an email dated uh, May 12, 2014, shortly after Hunter Biden joined the Burisma board, shows Pazarski attempting to get him to use his political leverage to help the company. The message had the subject line, urgent issue, and was also sent to Hunter Biden's business partner, Devin Archer, who also sat on the board. Pazarski said that the representatives of new authorities in power tend to quite aggressively approach NZ unofficially with the aim to obtain cash from them. Whatever that means. Wow. In addition to denying that he's uh, spoken to Hunter Biden about his oversized business, uh, overseas business dealings, Joe Biden repeatedly denied any conflict of interest or wrongdoing by either of them involving Burisma. Here, here, here's the, here he is uh, melting down. This is, this is Joe Biden being asked uh, on a, on a uh, tarmac about this. No, that's, uh, that's the whole here. It is. This, is a, this is a question that he got about the New York Post covering up Hunter Biden's hard drive story. Uh, and Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden, what is your response to the New York Post story about your son, sir? I know you'd ask it. I have no response. It's another smear campaign. Right up your alley. Another, question you another smear that. campaign. Yeah, here, let's hear that again. Uh, and Mr. Biden... Biden Mr. Biden, what is your response to the New York Post story about your son, sir? I know you'd ask it. I have no response. It's another smear campaign. Another smear campaign. Now, I wonder why, oh, this, is a, this is a montage of Joe Biden melting down every time that he was asked about uh, Ukraine. And there's a reason why he's this angry, because he, he is being found out. And, and he's angrily denying everything. Here it is. Your son's job in Ukraine. How is that not a conflict of interest? It's not a conflict of interest. There's been no indication of any conflict of interest from Ukraine or anywhere else. Period. I'm not going to. I'm not going to respond to that. Let's focus on the problem. Focus on this man. Wow. What he's doing that no president has ever done. You a hole. You're a damn liar, man. You said I set up my son to work in an oil company. Didn't that what you said? Get your words straight, Jack. Do you think it was wrong for him to take that position? No. Knowing that it was really because but that company did. wanted access to you. Well, that's not true. You're saying things you're full you of crap. Don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. No one said that. Who said that? What, don't Who you said think that? that? You're a liar. 
Thanks for inviting me to D.C. to meet your dad. Drain the swamp, baby. Drain the swamp. Big time. Big time. Listen to this. Hunter Biden was involved with China's largest private energy company, CEFC. He was given equity, ownership of a holding company, and huge consulting fees. He also allegedly held a share of their equity for his father, Joe Biden. Sources told Fox News that a person identified only as the big guy in an email about equity payments was former Vice President Joe Biden. Hunter was dealing with uh, CEFC Chairman Yi Jianying, whatever, Jianying, whatever, uh, who has since vanished. In one email, Hunter said a lucrative deal would be interesting for the interesting for the family. You know, it's going to be interesting for the family. You want to be a part of the, the family? You got to give the big guy 10%. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you might get disappeared. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like somebody did. He did get disappeared. Guy in charge of the company, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> the payees were only identified with initials and nicknames with the big note with uh, with a note stating that the big guy would get his payment through H, which is Hunter. Hunter is his son. He would receive 20%. The emails were sent when Biden was no longer vice president and Trump was in office. The email had already been published on the new by the New York Post on Thursday, but the identify identity of the big guy has been uh, reported to be Joe Biden. <laughs> wow. Chinese emails focus on Hunter's dealings with uh, Yi Jiaming, the guy who disappeared, former chairman of CEFC, after his father had left office and when it was thought he would not run in 2020. Yi has not been seen since he was taken into custody by Chinese authorities in 2018 amid rumored links to the Chinese military and intelligence services. It was previously known that he gave Hunter a diamond. Gave Hunter a diamond. Yeah, isn't that nice? <laughs> in an email... Hunter reportedly discussed a deal with Yi. According to the leaked emails, Biden wrote that Yi had been influential in improving a three-year consulting contract with CEFC that would pay him $10 million annually just for introductions. Just for getting them in bed with Washington politicians. Wow. Communist China. This is the, they were there. They were there. He was given half ownership of a holding company to sweeten the deal, Yi owning the other half. According to the leaked emails, Biden, Biden wrote, consulting fees is one piece of our income stream, but the reason this proposal by the chairman was so much more interesting to me and my family is that we would also be partners in the equity and profits of joint ventures investments. Credit cards issued against the account were used by Hunter, his uncle James, and James' wife, Sarah. Listen to this. Wouldn't you love to live this life? Wouldn't you? You're not a swamp dweller. You, you have to go to work every day. I, I've got to go to work in an hour and 15 minutes, and i got to work all day. Hunter Biden didn't have to work. His family didn't have to work. Listen to this. They purchased more than $100,000 on these credit cards worth of items, including airline tickets, Apple products, hotel and restaurant bookings. <laughs> Also seen in the emails with an agreement from one of Yee's associates to pay Biden a retainer of $1 million for counsel in U.S. law. New revolutions, uh, revelations come after emails from a Hunter's laptop appeared to show making an introduction with, uh, you know, the U Ukrainian gas man and Joe Biden. Wow. Hunter joined the board of Burisma. Fifty to eighty-four thousand dollars a month. This after um, April sixteenth of twenty fourteen, Burisma secretly accused of money laundering by Britain's serious fraud office. On the same day, Archer meets Joe Biden at the White House, and Archer joins the uh, the board of Burisma. This is um, Devin Archer. Devin Archer. Wow! 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 28, 2019, April 12th. This is when uh, three damage, uh, uh, a man saying he was under take, took uh, three damaged Macs to John Paul McClake's Apple repair shop, Wilmington, Del Delaware, put data from one on a new hard drive. The laptops had not been picked up as of July 11th, now considered abandoned according to uh, McClake's terms and conditions. Last fall, he gave the FBI the hard drive 
And the FBI went ahead and sat on it while Donald Trump was impeached. The FBI sat on evidence while the country went through the hell of impeachment and the Trump family went through the hell of impeachment. The FBI and the CIA, the the intelligence community, they knew from the get-go that the Russian collusion story was a lie. And they attempted, with a very slavish media, to take down a president with no evidence. The FBI picked up the laptop December 9th or 19th. McClasic kept a copy for himself. In February, Trump was acquitted at the end of his impeachment trial. The president went through impeachment. And all of this was there. The FBI, that's jail time. People need to go to jail for a very long time. Hunter Biden's email showing leveraging connections with his father to boost Burisma pay. In a lengthy memo to then business partner Devin Archer, who already sat on the Burisma board, Biden reportedly mentioned my guy while referring to Joe Biden, the then vice president of the United States. Under President Barack Obama, the elder Biden was the point person for U.S. policy toward Ukraine, how convenient, and held a press conference there with the Prime Minister Arsenyi Yatsink Yunk. <laughs> Hunter Biden's email to Archer is dated a little more than a week after. The announcement of my guy, Dad, upcoming travel should be characterized as a part of our advice and thinking, but we he will say and do is out of our hands, Hunter Biden wrote in 2014. In other words, it could be a really good thing or it can end up creating too great an expectations. We need to temper expectations regarding the visit. The email labeled from Robert Biden, Hunter's first name, is amongst the trove of documents, including photos and videos uh, from the laptop. In an email, Hunter Biden wrote to Archer, we need to ask for a long-term agreement and a cross-board participation. This is a huge step for us that could easily become very complicated. And if we are not protected financially, regardless of the outcome, we could find ourselves frozen out of a lot of current and future opportunities. The contract should begin now, not after the upcoming visit of my guy. My guy. (laughs) To my guy. My guy. The big guy. Wow, 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 wow. Yep, Joe Biden met with some big names. Some big names. Oh, Joe Biden had some good things to say about Governor uh, Christian, Kristen Widmer, who, by the way, um, she just had, uh, she's just been, uh, her shutdown policy in the state of Michigan has been um, turned down by the, uh, by the state Supreme Court. She's a, uh, she's a totalitarian. She's wrecked a lot of people's lives and ended a lot of people's lives. Michigan State Supreme Court ruled on uh, Monday last week a decision striking down Democrat Michigan Governor Whitmer's emergency orders is effective immediately. Executive orders issued under under that act are no longer continuing legal effect. So all the bullshit, all of the shutting down everything, making everybody wear masks has been shut down. But here is uh, Joe Biden saying she's a good governor. There's not a better governor in the United States of America than Gretchen Whitmer. Okay, as, as with everything that Joe Biden says, the opposite is true. So if he says there's, there's not a better governor, he means there's not a worse governor. That's what he means. We're going to do uh, Facebook here real quick, guys. Mark Zuckerberg told Facebook engineers to tweak its algorithm to throttle traffic to certain websites, according to a new report. According to the Wall Street Journal, CEO Mark Zuckerberg approved the changes that would result in the websites receiving cut in traffic and views three years ago. That's why on my Facebook page, I can get 70,000 views one week and then all of a sudden have nothing. It goes up and down. They restrict me. I have no ability to make uh, any money on this website despite a very nice reach. I should be reaching millions of people on this page, but unfortunately, I'm reaching about 70,000 a week. And that's, that, that has gone down 10,000. And not because I, I, I'm not providing great content, it's because they are restricting me. They are restricting me. There's no way, there's no recourse for this. And uh, it is all political. 
According to the Wall Street Journal, executives of Facebook were concerned uh, that the, these algorithm changes were uh, would have far more effect on the right-wing publications, such as the Daily Wire, than those on the left. Yeah, they were really worried about it. It was intentional. Following the publication of the New York Post bombshell story about the Biden family's business dealings in Ukraine, Facebook and Twitter worked hard to suppress the story across their platforms. The censorship comes just weeks after the executives from both firms, two executives from both firms joined the Biden transition team. Okay? Two, uh, uh, Twitter public policy director Carlos Mungi left the social media company to join the Biden transition team. Good, it's a bad mistake because he's not going to be transitioned. He's going to be transitioning to retirement. Manji's specific role on the team has not been made clear, and Biden's transition team reportedly declined to comment on the uh, situation. In October, Breitbart News further reported that Biden's transition team had hired top Facebook executive Jessica Hertz to its general counsel to oversee ethical issues. The move reportedly came as the campaign struggles with Facebook posts by President Trump's uh, censored on the platform. Apparently, both of these people. Oh, and this is interesting. Uh, the the, uh, the and this is also libelous. Um, Twitter has said that if you link to the the uh, New York Post story about the Biden uh, hard drive and the scandal, it says the link you are trying to access as identified by Twitter or our partners as being potentially spammy or unsafe. That is libelous. Okay, that is uh, that is something that should get them sued. And if Congress has it way, uh, they will get. And they need to be busted up. Twitter needs to be busted up and taken down. Uh, uh, here are the, 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 the link could fall into the fo- following categories. Malicious links that could steal personal information. That's a freaking lie. Spammy links that mislead people or disrupt their experience. That's a freaking lie. Violent or misleading content that could lead to real-world harm. That's a lie. Certain categories of content... Uh, content that, if posted directly on Twitter, are in violation of the Twitter rules. <clears throat> Top Republican lawmakers want tech big tech CEOs to testify in Congress next week. Senator Josh Hawley formally requested on Thursday that the CEOs of Twitter and Facebook both appear before the U.S. Senate to testify on their company's individual decisions to censor the Post's reports. As your company is no doubt aware, corporations are forbidden uh, from contributing anything of value, financial or otherwise, to, su- to support the election of candidates for federal office. The letter to uh, Dorsey of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, uh, noted that Twitter asymmetrically applied its terms of service against the Post story, suspended the official Donald Trump presidential campaign account for sharing the article. The hearing will also consider Twitter's decision to double down on the potential violation by, on October 15, 2020, suppressing the Post follow-up story. Senate Judiciary Co- Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham and Committee Member Ted Cruz also announced Thursday the Senate Judiciary Committee will vote on Tuesday to serve Dorsey a subpoena. They are classifying Twitter's uh, actions as election interference, which is criminal. People need to go to jail. The Senate Judici- Judiciary Committee wants to know what the hell's going on, Ted Cruz. In the House Judiciary Committee, ranking member Jim Jordan sent a letter to Facebook CEO saying the actions taken by Facebook raises uh, questions about Facebook's commitment to free speech and to free and fair elections. Additionally, all House Committee and over, on Oversight and Reform Republicans called on the committee's chairman, Representative Kara Maloney, to hold an emergency hearing before uh, November 3rd election on big tech censorship and election interference. Hey, it's been going on for three years, man. It's been going on for longer than that. Trust me, I was a part of a network of 29 pages and, and 19 million followers that on October 30th, 2018 were taken down by Facebook. Facebook and Twitter censorship of American journalism is part of a broader pattern by big tech to selectively oppress news and silence conservative views that don't square with their liberal agenda. This is not the American way and cannot be tolerated. Oversight and Reform Committee ranking member James Comer said, "Big tech censorship is election interference, and we can uh, we can call on chair we call on Chairman Maloney to hold an emergency hearing." Maloney's a Democrat. We'll see what happens. Listen to this: The Blaze reports 83 percent of, of uh, Facebook's political donations for the 2020 election cycle went to Democrats. <laughs> wow. A fact that is confirmed by the Federal Election Commission data compiled by the Center for Responsive Politics on its site, OpenSecrets.org. 
Now, do you want to hear how much of uh, Twitter donations go to Democrats? Are you ready? Are you sitting? According to CRP's collection of the most recent FEC data, 98.87% of donations from Twitter-affiliated PACs and individuals to federal candidates have gone to Democrats during the 2020 cycle, which means that which means that at the company there is a mindset, and I would assume also with regard to their hiring practice practices, there is some sort of a political test that people have to take before they're hired. Because there's no way that 98.87% of donations from Twitter-affiliated PACs and individuals, organizations themselves cannot contribute to candidates and party committees, to federal candidates going to, to, uh, to uh, uh, Democrats. That is, a, that is a corporate conscience. Top recipients of Twitter money for 2020. 25 of them. 24 Democrats. Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Andrew Yang. Kamala Harris, uh, Arizona City candidate Mark Kelly, Tom Steiger, Cory Booker, AOC. <laughs> Donald Trump got uh, $3,186. He's number 24. He's the only Republican. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Big tank is in, big, big tech is in the tank for uh, Democrats. It's just the way it is. Facebook restricted uh, the pages of uh, Mark Levin. That that became real for Mark Levin. And and here's the thing, guys. And, and this is you know because right now I don't I don't work on terrestrial radio. Although I am uh, hosting the Jim Bohannon show on October 29th, which is a terrestrial radio show, and I do some terrestrial radio. But the big names in talk radio really haven't uh, done a very good job of addressing um, Facebook censorship of publishers. And the reason being is I'm their competition. Uh, And there are people who are on social media who are players who are uh, big talk radios uh, competition technically. Let me clean my glasses. And so you haven't heard a lot from, and God bless Rush and everybody, but they really haven't done much to defend us as uh, independent broadcasters on uh, on social media. They haven't done much because we're their competition. And uh, so, you know, kind of, you know, it's a little disappointing. Uh, It's a little disappointing. But, uh, you know, that's the way it is. Sidney Powell was on with, uh, I want to play this. This is uh, Sidney Powell talking about all of this, all of this. The FBI um, uh, withholding the uh, laptop, the laptop while the president of the United States was being impeached. The FBI sat on Hunter Biden's laptop, which proved Russian-Ukrainian uh, collusion and disproved, in it. well, you know, disproved. It was disproven that there was any Russian collusion with with Donald Trump. But this was evidence that could have been used. Here is Sidney Powell talking with, uh, what is it? Uh, They being the FBI, the Department of Justice, the federal district courts who behave like they're in third world countries. This is sickening to the American people. And by the way, I think people have got a pretty good idea that the only thing standing between them, them, And this rotten, toxic, corrupt political structure uh, called a judiciary is is Donald Trump. That's why I said that he needs to be reelected. Your thoughts? Well, that's exactly right. And we must reelect him to give him a term in which he can really start cleaning out the swamp. Amen. Because he was deprived of all that in his first term from all the fraudulent hoaxes and investigations against him when they should have been prosecuting the Biden family, the Clinton family, and everybody who was actually lining their own pockets from all these nefarious global... And I said this from the beginning, that this was also involving the Clintons. This was all a distraction from real collusion and real corruption. It's deals they've been making behind the back of the American public while they've been selling out American interests to the foreigners that have been paying them. And what should we do turning to the uh, across the country to Silicon Valley, big tech, yep. social media titans uh, deciding that they're going to decide this election uh, shutting down one of the country's oldest newspapers, if not the oldest functioning newspaper, one of the largest newspapers in this country. Uh, What should this president do? I, I mean, this is outrageous. 
Well, Ajit Pai with the FCC just put out a statement that he's going to engage in rulemaking because they're reading Section 230 too broadly. Congress is supposed to be working on that, but of course they're not making any progress. The, the president and the Department of Justice should be, well, the Department of Justice in particular should be looking at both antitrust violations yep. and yep. election contributions yeah. because yep. they've yep. contributed millions, if not billions of dollars worth of uh, improper campaign contributions yeah. to the Biden yeah. campaign by shutting down the opposition. Yeah, we Amen. Here is the president talking about Facebook and Twitter. I was pressing Joe Biden to tell the truth because the corrupt lamestream media right back there, all those cameras right back there. They're corrupt, and they refuse to write the story. There wasn't one time in almost four years during my presidency, during the greatest political scandal in U.S. history, a witch hunt, a horrible, horrible, disgusting witch hunt that should never, ever happen to another presidency again, and people should pay for the crimes they committed. This is bigger than we could have ever imagined it is the biggest scandal in american political Which history turned out to be a total illegal hoax that false and libelous stories every day false and libelous people won pulitzers covering a lie the stories and they knew they were false oh, dear too. god they knew they were false they were never taken down by twitter or facebook nope or the mainstream media, nope. never once. Yet with Biden today, they take negative posts down almost before they even go up. Yep. They're trying to protect him. Yep. They're trying to protect Biden. They take him down. And I was just getting off that magnificent plane behind us, Air Force One. And I had heard, and I just don't know this for a fact, but they say, Kaylee McEnany, you know Kaylee, right? Yep. Kaylee McEnany. Good Kaylee, she's so great. She's uh, incredible. They closed down her account. Yeah, they did. She's the White House press secretary because she's reporting the truth. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think that's going to do it for the show. I, I don't want to cover anything else. Um, I think... Um, this is this is gigantic. If you would share with others on social media, that would be huge. Also, I want to remind you, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Rob Carson Show. Also, my Rumble channel, rumble.com, Rob Carson Show. If you want to win a freezer full of beef from Hassle Cattle Company, hasslecattlecompany.com. Go look at some food porn. Look at their Facebook page. Holy hell. All of that meat there, those are, that's some of the pictures from their Facebook page. Hassle Cattle Company. Order some for Christmas yourself. Order some Wagyu beef because it is ridiculous. Absolutely the best. I had a I really had a New York strip steak that I could cut with a fork. Unbelievable. All right. Guys, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Please share on social media. Also, join me on MAGA Book, M-A-G-A Book, MAGA Book. I'm getting uh, thousands of followers there. It's an alternative to uh, to uh, Facebook for Trump supporters and Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R. -E it's Parlay, but it's been Americanized Parler. Um uh, a lot of people are involved in that, and it's a, it's a good it's a good page. So Parler, Magabook, uh, Rumble.com, and YouTube uh, get signed up for all of those, and and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, and of course my um, my Rumble channel as well. Okay, have a great uh, a great weekend, guys. God bless you. Um, I really appreciate you watching me. Watch uh, my show on uh, Newsmax. I'm hoping we can expand it. Um, I'd like to do a daily show. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you would, keep your fingers crossed for that. And I want to thank uh, Chris Ruddy and everybody at that network for everything they do, and Jamie and uh, Elliot and uh, Adam and all of the people who helped me on that. Uh, it's it's a one-man show with my great editor, Brian Schlossberg, out of uh, Washington, D.C. He edits it. I write it, put it together. And it's a great show. It's called Rob Carson's What in the World. Rob Carson's What in the World on Newsmax. Just go to NewsmaxTV.com for all the listings and when it runs, okay? Because it runs on the weekends at 5 o'clock on Saturday Eastern Standard and Sunday at 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard in the afternoon. Okay? God bless. See you soon, guys. Take care. Take care.